Okay, so I just wanted to do this little slideshow because I guess as um, budding scientists, you, you're looking at the sort of options that you have for study. And some people might go, well, why study rocks? You know, what, what's earth science got to contribute? Physics is our, as our senior science of um, the way that the universe works and the laws that govern um, the world and the universe. Chemistry is what things are made out of. Biology is living things. So what's left, really? Like, what can earth science contribute? So I guess this is just a little... Um, collection of some of my thoughts about why studying geology is important. Okay, I love this little quote. It says, to touch the earth uh, and listen to the rocks, for they remember. They know and remember all that has come to pass here. I just really like that concept that if we look at the rocks, they can keep a record for us of everything that has come before. Obviously, it's not a complete record. There's things missing from it. But we can go back into the rock record and find out things like these fossils here, like dinosaurs. We can learn about the way that the world was um, and how that affects us today. So I wanted to point out a few things here. So it can tell us um, what the environment was like in the past, what animals lived and where they lived where the best natural resources can be found today. So if we study um, the processes that make, say, the fossil fuels, we can determine where we should be able to find them. If we're looking for gemstones or gold or silver, we can work out the ways that they are formed and then use that information to find likely places to look for them. Um, and that really helps us with what we call exploration geology. How the earth was formed, how it has changed over time, how we and the other life forms came to be, like why are we here? Okay, how did we get here? A lot of those secrets, not all of them, but a lot of those secrets are contained within the rock record. What processes made these things happen? Um, there's some quotes and uh a few other details in here that I won't go into all of them, but if you're interested, you can stop the video and, and read it all yourself. But here in the yellow, by observing rocks, we geologists deduce the processes that form them, the nature of past environments and other historical characteristics. What happened in the past tells us what is happening now. So these are all the aspects of earth science that um, we can understand by looking at the rock record. We can understand Earth's processes and systems as they are today uh, and how they were in the past. That kind of ties into this one uh, down the bottom here, ancient environments and organisms. We can look at evolution and how animals have changed over time. A lot of that comes from the rock record. So that's a study of biology, but um, our only evidence of the things that come before are contained in the rock record uh, and in the living animals that are around today. Plate tectonics and continental drift. These concepts that we already had a look at of how the surface of the earth um, is formed and destroyed and how it moves around. How the continents have gone from being together to being ripped apart and sent to the um, extremes of the earth exploration geology where we can find fuels and resources, gems um, and metals, precious stones that um, can be worth something to us um, because they are rare and useful like gold or because we might put other value on them like diamonds um, or fossil fuels that we put a value on because we want to use them to power our cities and our cars and things like that. Um, astronomy, that might seem like a strange one to be there, but a lot of what we understand about space, we're getting better at looking out into space, but before we could do that, we really looked at the evidence we have of space here. So things like meteorites, um, what they're made out of, what 
they could have brought to Earth from other places. So there's a lot of um, looking into now that water might have been brought on um, meteorites to Earth and what was in that water. Maybe the origins of life could, could have come from there. Maybe they have added something essential to our planet that wasn't there before. So we can look at that sort of stuff. I've already said gemstones and minerals, resource management. We can look at hazards um, and hazard mitigation, which is just on how we address hazards, how we minimise the risk of, um, of hazards on our communities. And we can look at past hazards and predict when they could possibly happen again, which is important for how we act in the future. That's a really beautiful quote. Um, I won't go into all of it, but you can have a look at that. This is by a professor in Melbourne. Um, and the last little bit there I will read. In order to have an understanding of our environment, we must have an understanding of ancient environments on Earth. The past is the key to the present. And by understanding the big picture, then we are poised to make informed decisions about our present environment. Okay, so it's just some of my ideas about why this stuff is useful to us uh, as scientists um, and possibly if uh, that's a field you might like to look into um, as something to focus on in science, geology, or at the very least to, to appreciate the contributions that geology makes to science overall. Cool.